So here we are, fuel injecting this 12A engine of Mike's that we built over the end of summer. We had to do a little bit of messing around with the uh, holes to line up with the Turbo 2 intake manifold. What was this uh, adapter from? JDL? Yeah, JDL. J JDL Manufacturing. Overall, good product. Um, I mean, it's, I guess, to make anything fit in the 12A to 13B, you're going to have a little bit of screwing around. But, I mean, really all we had to do is move these two holes over. So, we're going to uh, make sure everything lines up now. Do a little bit of messing around with the fuel rails. And then we got to take weld all these little vacuum ports up everywhere. And then switch that over to the Turbo 2 throttle body. And all that stuff we might do a couple other things. So this is where we're at. Anyhow, Mike's loving it. He's been dying to work on this thing for the last couple days. But uh, there was some more of a thing with these that you can only use... I think 14 millimeter injectors, which I don't know if you contact them, tell me you want 11 mil drilled in the rail. Probably do that too and put 6N, 6AN on here. I don't see where he would have any difficulty doing that. I've talked to uh, him a couple times and he seems like an alright guy. So, um, yeah, we'll be right back in a minute. And we're back, and Mike just learned a really, <laughs> really, 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 really good lesson. What's that, Mike? Always put paper towels down your intake when you're removing nuts and bolts. <laughs> he just dropped a nut and it fell all the way down the port inside the engine. But we were actually very, if it was in the car, you would have been screwed. But being on the engine stand, uh, rotated the rotor back just enough and then took the motor and tipped it this way and it fell out of the port. So he got super lucky. At least he realized it before the engine got in the car. Uh, I've seen this happen to people and lock their motor up instantly. So he just uh, retapped all these because he had the cell power coated. So he had some some gum in the threads, and we got this tapped and went and got some hardware. So now his fitment's all good. He's gonna try and refit it again after he cleans this up. Check the upper intake manifold on this thing, and then uh, we're gonna go from there and then start TIG welding some stuff. But uh, crisis averted for now. <laughs> so we'll be right back again. So lesson learned here. Mike put some paper towels in there, and uh, he's good now. Nice cleaning up the intake manifold. So gotta get it real clean. We're gonna pick all the oil metering stuff closed and vacuum ports. All the so that's where we're at cleaning. I guess we won't uh, sit here and make you laugh and clean it for the next hour. So we'll do that. Okay, we haven't gotten the hours and hours and hours of cleaning, but <laughs> where we're at right now is we're taking a little look. And we're just going to go the extra step since we're sitting here and it's winter here where we are. Is There's a lip on the back of this. Mike's going to take that out on both sides. Just to uh, port match that. We're going to leave the lip on the top because of the uh, port overlap. So we're not blowing back into the intake. Which most people argue about whatever. I don't even really give a shit. It does work. It stops blow back up the intake manifold. If you don't, If you don't think that's true... I'll put the ITBs back on the car and you can see the blowback as it blows fucking fuel back up the intake manifold. And then he's just going to smooth these out, the transitions, real quick. He's got these packed real tight now and he's got the vacuum so it's no big deal. Nothing's going to get in those ports. He's going to pack these so stuff doesn't fall in them though. <laughs> yeah, just, just uh, safety precaution because I really don't want to take this engine back apart. So he's going to clean all that up. Um, the inside lip is actually really good on there. Um, I cannot complain about this plate. Uh, most people would just because they do, and that's what people do is they'll bitch about it, and they'll be like, oh, this isn't perfect, this and that. But you know what? 
for the 10 minutes it's going to take to do this, whatever, and it's perfect, you know, every engine's going to be a little different, going to be stacked a little different, so I don't really give a shit what people have to say. Yeah, whatever. Um, they, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's CNC to the specs of the gasket. So this engine's been ported, so it's not obviously going to be dead on. So that's something you're going to deal with when you port both of them together and whatever. It's going to take fucking 10 minutes. Get over it. So we're going to take care of that real quick. And uh, pretty soon we're going to TIG weld all this stuff up. We did a little stuff with the throttle body. And uh, that's where we're at right at the moment. We're going to be right back after he does that. And uh, we're good. So we're back after TIG welding. We had a little incident. I uh, wasn't really paying attention. I was wondering, what is going on with my TIG? Well, we got some corrosion instantly, what they would call it. Uh, I'm going to have to address this issue here, and it didn't want to burn in, and it was just white fuzz everywhere. So I said, what the hell is going on? Come over here, as you can see the black oxidation in the welds. Awesome, right? Mounted a cup, stuff like that. Well, I always go and get my tank filled with 100% argon. Every time, same guy, everything. Well, I get looking closely at this. Argon carbon dioxide mix, not gonna work. So, I have to go get a 100% full tank and see if they'll swap it out for me. So, that's where we're at with that. And then now we're gonna beads across that and smooth it out and fix all that crap. Thanks a lot. So anyways, um, this is what it's going to look like on Mike's motor. Um, turbo 2 intake manifold, obviously. Um, turbo 2 fuel rail. I'm going to try and get him to go with full function. He's deciding if he wants to go with electric water pump. And he's still deciding on turbo. So the front cover may have to come off so I can weld a bung for return for the turbo on that. Or the oil pan like right there. Um, I like having them on the front cover, just a little easier. That's where it is on my engine. Um, I mean, 13B versus 12A, who cares the difference? Anyways, so yeah, we brought this thing up into the 21st century. So we got a crank angle sensor for FC, because we're probably going to go with one of my Microtechs out of one of my cars, because I'm going to be upgrading, um, upgrading my ECU. Yeah, spit it out. And uh, pretty much this is what it's going to look like. That, uh, from the same company that we did the adapter, um, JDL Manufacturing, we got TPS, it's a Ford TPS based that goes on here. Um, modified throttle body, took everything off, it's going to come off. We have to plug these, no big deal. Um, I flipped the throttle linkage around because you actually can on the turbo too. So with shorter FB linkage, which normally comes to the center of the engine, you should be able to flip this right around, make a bracket off of this, to hold the throttle cable, and now It'll pull this way without any issue, as you can see, instead of backwards off of here where the old bracket used to mount. So, pretty much that's where we're at. A uh, set of RX8 injectors in the secondaries and 550cc in the primaries. Should be plenty of fuel for him for what he's doing right now. Um, if he does decide to go with the turbo, obviously we'll just put bigger injectors in the secondaries. So, pretty much that's where Mike's motor is at with our TIG welding ordeal um, with the gas. I thought I had contaminated gas at first and then uh, went to switch my bottles out with my other welder, my MIG, that's over there and then realized, hey, it's the same gas. Awesome. So, um, I don't know if I addressed on what car this was going in or whatever previous videos, but I'll uh, throw a snapshot or two on that. It's full cage. Uh, it's an old race car. And, uh, that's uh, pretty much going to be pretty good here. I mean, this should make quite a bit more power than it did stock with the porting that I did, which I don't think I covered any of the porting. So that's where we're at. Enough rambling on. Anyways, um, 
I hope to get a little farther on that, but there's no point in waiting a week with Christmas and stuff and trying to get this gas sorted, whatever. So uh, that's where we're at. Thanks for watching, guys.